Well, I think it's finally mission accomplished. Butterscotch the cat definitely approves. Um, all right, guys, so here's, here's what seems to have worked. Um, like we've been saying, a lot of people have wall furnaces and uh, you go to trip the thermostat or otherwise known as just calling for heat, you know, turning it up higher than what the room temperature is so that the furnace kicks on, basically. Um, and nothing happens. You come down here, you look, the pilot light is on, um, but the burners aren't on. And it seems like what has fixed it was what Steve from Cozy recommended today, which was, uh, he's not surprised at all that replacing the gas valve did not work. He's not surprised at all that um, going through four thermostats did not work. Um, the original thermostat actually probably was fine, which is kind of a shame because last year at this time I was much, much more petrified of furnaces and dealing with gas. And it isn't something to be taken lightly, but unfortunately, I paid somebody almost a hundred bucks to change a thermostat for me last year. Um, but keep in mind, I didn't know that's what it was. The furnace wasn't working. I was panicking in a Pennsylvania winter. The house was getting very cold very quickly. I was very sick with the flu, and I was expecting, you know, the worst. I was expecting something in here to be very, very wrong. And um, anyways, I digress. So. The point of all this is, is um, Steve today said basically to look at your wire nut that has the white cable from the thermostat going into uh, a safety cable or intertwined with a safety cable, the blue cable here, going up the furnace and to where the safety switch is right about there, um, which basically shuts this thing down if the flu were to get blocked and uh, prevent hazardous toxic fumes from coming into the house. Um, so here's here, here's what I did, here's what he suggested. Basically, renew all connections, I guess is, is the way I would say it. I don't know how a pro would say it, but I took that wire nut off. I gotta get away from the heater, it's too hot. I took the wire nut off, and then after taking the wire nut off, I cut the old um, part of the blue wire and the old part of the white wire that were once intertwined and basically made a new connection. So, you know, cut the old ends off, which basically left me with, with two pieces of wire with sheath on them. So I took my wire cutters, I, I cut the sheath off of, of the tips of both of those. And like I said in the last video, the blue wire is very... Um, the sheath on it is very flexible, very kind of um, pliable, and, and almost kind of like, like residue-y or doughy, as weird as that sounds. <laughs> um, so I took the wire cutters and basically treated them like sort of like a razor, and I lightly clamped down on the blue exposed wire that I had just cut and got all the little play doughy blue sheathy crumbs off of the end of that. The white wire is the exact opposite of that. The sheath comes off easily and immediately like a copper wire is, is exposed. Um, I took the blue wire because there's a lot of frayed mini wires in there and I intertwined all those frayed wires around the copper white wire and then I put the wire nut back on and super tightened down on it. Um, so the connection should be good, not only because obviously the wire nut, but because unlike before where it was just a bunch of silver wires banded together and a copper wire touching that and wire nutted together all those little silver sh uh blue all those little silver wires that are that are inside of that blue sheath are now untangled frayed out um looks like a messy hair day wrapped all of those mini wires around that copper white wire wire nutted that down so now it's just a super strong connection with a lot of different connection points um which i know sounds ridiculous but i swear to god that's part of the fix the other part of the fix was as he suggested is just check all your connections and renew them so that white i'm sorry that blue connection right right here i took that off 
I took about a dime piece of very uh, soft sandpaper and I very slowly and with a lot of care sanded the contact point on the gas valve that that blue connector piece fits on top of. I also took uh, needle nose pliers and uh, carefully crimped down on the blue connector part so that when I put that blue connector part over the silver connection that it goes on top of on that gas valve, it was a much tighter fit, much, much tighter fit. But be careful when you cramp down, uh, clamp down on that with the wire cutters because if you clamp down on it too much, you're going to sort of close off the connection or the gap that is uh, allowing that silver connection point on the gas valve to slide in to that blue point. So get it tighter, but don't think to clamp down carelessly. You need to be careful about how you clamp it down. I also made sure on that blue connection there that I pushed in on it. So the silver connection on the gas valve really is pushed right up in there. Very, very um, sure of that. The other thing I did is I cut my my thermostat wire down by about one fourth. It used to be 20 feet long, then it was 10 feet long. Now I'd be surprised if it was five feet long. So literally from the bottom of the furnace, it, it comes out right there, passes through this wooden piece, passes up my wall. And for now it's, it's janky, but what can you do? Uh, I'd rather have it look janky and only be four or five feet of wire and have this darn thing on and keeping the cat very happy than uh, where it was before, which was way up here, um, and have that length be killing the, uh, the millivolt strength. So uh, I'm not real sure what it is, but I can almost guarantee you that the one place I really was not paying attention to were creating new connection points down here, making sure that those wires really hugged each other and were just totally intertwined uh, in that wire nut, uh, clearing off that blue connection point into the gas valve right here, and then also what he said to do, which I really had never considered ever at all, is there's a blue wire that comes up the furnace. Let me zoom out and goes right there into a safety switch. I took those connection points off. They basically look exactly the same as that thing right there, that blue connection point right there. Uh, took them off, same deal. A Little bit of sandpaper on the connection points, the silver connection points, and then uh, 